Hi, I'm Nina Riesman, and this is my KSP202 flipped classroom video reflection. Um, my overall impression of the materials, I liked them because they kind of gave like a really good insight on all of like the flipped classroom like aspects and stuff. Um, the most insightful part was I think lesson one with the infographic. I really liked it because it showed the positives and the negatives of the flipped classroom. Um, three supporting reasons that stood out to me. I liked that there was more one-on-one -on -one time because the students are learning their lessons at home, which means if they have questions, they can ask the teacher during class time. Um, it allows students to work at their own pace. I thought that was kind of nice because it allows you to pause it and rewind if you need to, so you can like go back and look at it. Um, and it also allows parents to be involved. I think that's kind of nice, so that way the parents know just as much as the students do, so they can help them a little bit easier. Um, three reasons against the flipped classroom that stood out to me. Um, it gives students more homework. Um, we had a flipped classroom in my junior year of high school, and I didn't like it because normally for math class, I would be, I would finish the assignment in class, but now I had extra homework. I had like 20 or 30 minutes of homework, and it's not something you can just kind of like do. You have to like really pay attention because it's the lesson. Um, it's hard for students to access. Um, because not every student has like a, a computer or not every student has Wi-Fi at their house. So they have to go to the library or they have to like, walk to the library if their parents can't give them a ride. So I think it's kind of tough for everyone to be able to access it. And I know you can access it um, during school hours, but what if you have to like, stay late? What if you have after school sports and then the library is closed at the school? So it's kind of difficult to get that together. Um, and then it also may lead to reteaching if students didn't understand the video. I know this happened a couple times in my math class. I would watch the video, and we all would, and then we just really wouldn't understand it. So then it'd be like a wasted day because I like wasted my time watching the video, and my teacher would have to reteach it anyways. So then I still had homework and another video to watch, so it was kind of a lot. Um, the technology that I would integrate, that I would use for the flipped classroom, um, if I did it in my teaching, I would use a smart board. I'd probably use a smart board and I'd probably record myself teaching the lesson on the smart board. Um, or maybe like a smart podium, which would be kind of nice. So that way I could just kind of like sit down at my desk or whatever. And then I could be like writing on that instead of the whole big smart board. Um, if I didn't have either of those things, I'd probably just use like a whiteboard and a video camera. And then I'd probably use YouTube and I would upload whatever my lesson was onto YouTube. Um, my overall opinion of flipped classroom, I think it's like a good idea in theory. Um, I say that because I think it's like nice for like students to be able to work in class and ask their questions in class. But since like I had to use it, I didn't really like it because I would normally be able to finish all of my homework and then now I had extra homework. But I can see, like, the positives and the negatives. I think, like, the positives may outweigh the negatives, but I don't know. I think it's just kind of, it's, like, whatever, like, the teacher prefers. And I think it's important for, like, a teacher to do it really well because I think it's easy to kind of do it not so well and then the students still don't understand anything. So I think if you do do the flipped classroom, I think that you really have to do it well and that you have to be able to, like, do the extra work for it. All right. Thank you so much.